a joy to have our next guest back in the house with us in person. Our very good friend from Physicians Mutual, Bob Gunya, is here to talk all about reclaiming some joy in our lives and what we need to do so that we can all enjoy the retirement we deserve. Isn't that right? Welcome back, Bob. Hi, Bob. Good to be back. We love you. All right. Thank you. Bob, the last year has been challenging for so many of us. I mean, my Oof. goodness. And hopefully we have learned some life lessons. So what life lessons should we actually um, sort of put to use that we learned in the last year for our future and for our retirement? Good question. We've had a lot of shared experiences yeah. of isolation and uncertainty yeah. and, and frustration when it comes to you have no previous experience uh, to make predictions, exactly. to make decisions. And so uh, that does create a lot of anxiety. Uh, but one thing that we've learned over the last year, and it was reinforced by a recent nationwide study, that three important things in our lives, uh, the first one being our health security, uh, second, our financial security, and three, the importance of a close-knit family. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I think we'd all agree that those priorities make sense, and yeah. they were only reinforced this past year uh, when people were just faced with some really uncertain times. Uh, so it's important for us as we think about you know, retirement and moving ahead, what are those next steps and how do we reclaim joy? Right. And with the certainty of a vaccine and you know this progress out of the pandemic, you know, it is the perfect time to say, okay, give yourself permission to be happy. Give yourself to reimagine a joy-filled retirement. That's yeah. a big piece of True. it, right? The permission, giving yep. yourself permission to be happy and, and joyful. Mm -hmm. uh, and I gotta say, you know, I know that planning for uh, health expenses in retirement is very important, yeah. but I wouldn't necessarily consider that part of the joyful path of life. <laughs> so, but I know that you are gonna shed some light on that. Cameron, that's why I'm here. <laughs> to bring some joy. Yes. You know, you know, but it's a, it's a good point. I mean, people don't usually think about whether it be insurance or financial planning, that it's a joy-filled moment. In, in fact, the experiences that we've all shared this past year are very similar uh, in terms of the emotions people experience when they're planning for retirement. And the similarity is, is whenever you're faced with a new experience in life that you can't draw upon from past experience, right. it creates uncertainty. And sometimes you feel isolated. Sure. And so that Thank similarity you. is absolutely real. Uh, the good news is it doesn't have to be that way, that we may go through retirement once, uh, but other people have worked with folks several times, and so they can bring some certainty to the situation. Uh, for example, at Physicians Mutual, you know, we've been around for a number of years, and so by providing that sense of, of certainty and of experience, you can reclaim some joy. Well, and I, bring some joy. To you've been around for a few years, he said. I can imagine being around for... 120 years yep. may help, and having survived two pandemics at this point really does help with the experience you have. Yeah, it definitely should help. Uh, certainly, you know, we tell stories at the office we have, you know, since I joined about our history of the 1918 flu pandemic, and to go through a second one, that is, that's a big deal. And, and, and we all want to learn from these experiences. True. And the, one of the things that we have learned over the last couple of decades that helps specifically with retirement planning, that is about the Medicare program. So obviously been around for 120 years and have been involved with the Medicare program since its inception in 1965. Mm -hmm. So that kind of experience allows us to bring some certainty in terms of what the Medicare program is all about, what it covers, and what it doesn't cover and how that can impact you sure. know your retirement it can yeah. definitely just you get so much confidence from knowing you know all of that experience okay so you mentioned the three things specifically what should we be looking for when we want to make sure that our health is covered in retirement so what are those three great question and we have focused on this program over the last several years on three key products uh, Medicare supplement and dental insurance that both fill in the gaps okay. in insurance uh, as well as life insurance many Got times it. when you lose your health coverage through your employer uh, you lose that, and so you need a safety net in retirement years. Yep. On the health side, as it relates to Medicare supplement, uh, the Medicare program, as you know, only pays about 80% of your expenses in yep. retirement. And so there's a, a pretty big gap in deductibles and co-pays that could be unanticipated expenses if you don't have the right coverage. Right. And so it's important for people, my best advice at this stage, is as people enter into retirement, give yourself enough time to become familiar with the Medicare program. Uh, typically, people start looking six months before they turn 65. Uh, we work with people months even before that. So they get the familiarity to make good understanding and good decisions as it relates to so the type of supplemental coverage they need to supplement the Medicare benefits. Right, because Medicare doesn't cover dental, does it? It does not. Yeah. And so that's why that product is very important. Uh, it doesn't have routine or even comprehensive uh, dental care for folks. And as, as, as you know, people are living longer. Uh, people want to keep their teeth, 
and your mouth is such a gateway to all sorts of other type of so health things. issues. And so it is important to have dental insurance. Uh, and then I mentioned life insurance once again, is that you know, industry-wide, life insurance sales are at its highest it's been since 9-11. Mm -hmm. And it's because there is that appreciation of that safety net and the protection for your loved ones uh, following a year of a pandemic. Yeah. It's incredibly important. Mm. I mean, we've said it before. We say it when you're here. It's so great to know that we can rely on Physicians Mutual for all of this to help us through, you know, this challenging time to make it joyful. I mean, and that's, right. yeah. that's the truth. And so speaking of joyful, uh, I love when you kind of end on a real positive note, something special to leave us with. And today is going to be no different, is it? Oh, we do have something special. And I, I, I love the fact that Homewood Family is willing to, uh, to share these special little stories. And so we've highlighted customers and employees. And we have a special employee by the name of Nick Rivers. Uh, Nick has been with the company for the last several years, and he's also a very accomplished artist. And so we invited Nick uh, to reflect upon, you know, all that's gone on this past year in terms of some of the racial strife and the struggles and the ongoing reconciliation uh, that is going on that we're all experiencing, and make create a piece of work that can demonstrate how that feels and, and, and some hope for the future. And what he came up with is what you see on the screen now, a stronger together and it's a beautiful piece of beautiful. Uh, of art and nick told me that uh, wow look at that that was yeah. most important for him is that it was inclusive that there was representation right that when you see that little girl at the bottom there looking up through oh, that there she is. Uh, you know that wall that's been yeah uh, these folks have broken through that those are the heroes right of the future and if all of us you know come together and are committed to be Joy filled together, That's stronger right. together. That's what it's all about. It's really powerful, yeah. Thanks for That's sharing really that. That's really what it's all together. about. My goodness, he is very talented and he brings a lot of joy to people just like you, Bob. Thank good you, to Debbie. see you, buddy. So Thank good you, to Cameron. see you. We love you, Bob Gunya. For more information, you all be sure to visit physiciansmutual.com. Home and Family on Hallmark Channel.